Guys, we got to get back to being the aggressor right now. We got to play faster. Our spacing, we're getting on one side of the floor, and then defensively, we got to load up and get back. We're just giving them driving gaps to the basket, okay? That was our State Farm audio assist. As play resumes and uh, the intensity starting to ratchet up. Nerlens Noel, James Harden exchanging some words just prior to that last timeout as Russell Westbrook re enters the game. Drive and kick out to House. This is Gordon on a deep three. Well, short. Gordon follows his own miss. Oh, over two. Third time. Won't go either for Gordon. Gordon just really struggling from the three point line. Guy who's been a good shooter throughout his career. Under 20% now from three in the series. Just has not been able to get his body right with any consistency this season. House, that's a corner three, get it in for Houston. House has shot the ball well in this series. And throughout the year for uh, Houston, been one of their most dependable three-point shooters. Boy, Dort still firing him up. I'm a little surprised uh, that we haven't subbed Dort out with Harden on the bench. I think Chris Paul will probably come back for Dort. We see him at the table. Lou Dort is now one for nine from the field. This is Westbrook with Schroeder on his back. Three to shoot, quick spin. Rivers bobbled it initially, fires. And a rebound by Noel. Well, and it's great defense by Houston. They're doing exactly what Mike D'Antoni wants. They're packing the paint, getting a lot of help, and leaving it to Lou Dort to take all the shots. They're making Oklahoma City play four against five. It's Darius Baisley who's checked into the game for the Thunder. Now to Gilgis Alexander, this will be a push on the second year stud, and Gilgis Alexander will sit or nope, now he'll stay in, and Lou Dort, Stan, you're right, will come out for Chris Paul. And this was what we were talking about. Notice after the basket, a little bump between those two. And then on the ensuing time down the floor, you see Harden that little bit of a shoulder into Noel. Noel didn't appreciate it. Players and officials quickly separated the two. And, and thankfully, they handled that right. The officials did a good job. No double technical foul. No hostile act. <laughs> that, that kind of stuff happens all the time. And they just broke it up and let these guys play on. Here's Rivers. Puts it on the deck against Paul. Old teammates with the Clippers. Not that time. Paul up the floor to Schroeder. He's been instant offense this season off the bench. But Schroeder so far has missed his first two shots. Under a minute to play in the quarter. What a matchup here between Westbrook and Gilgis Alexander. First action for Westbrook since August the 11th. Missed four of the last five seeding games with that right quad and strain. Drive and kick. Here is Paul. Still eight on the timer. This will be a foul against Gordon. Gordon saying, look, I just held my ground defensively. And now Chris Paul kind of clutching at his right neck shoulder area. This is pretty good individual defense there by Gordon. He may have initiated contact there, but a great job moving his feet. May have stepped up into him. But oh, Houston's defense has been exactly what Mike D'Antoni wanted coming into this game. So here's Chris Paul. And there's four points for the Thunder. Well, a whole new game meets a whole new experience with Michelob Ultra. Tweet hashtag Ultra Courtside with hashtag sweepstakes for a chance to win tickets. So great to have you with us here in Orlando. Basically the second restart to this NBA season. Three days. And so we're pretty incredible to watch here. And the game, the show goes on tonight with Game 5, Houston trying to bounce back.